YouTube, welcome back to George's Guitar Channel. Man, my beard is out of control this morning, dude. Alright, so today we're gonna be talking about the 24 volt mod for your EMG and Fishman Fluence pickups. Now I bought the, I'm not sponsored, by the way. This is not a sponsored video. I spent $38 shipped on this thing. I wasn't expecting anything. You know, I love the EMG81. Go back and check out my video, the NG, why the MG81 is still the king. Um, so this is the one that's got the actual adapter, it's got the insulator, and it comes with the batteries. Um, go to 24 volt mod on reverb. Free plug for these guys, man. Um, and you're thinking, I couldn't hear a difference. Well, I totally can. And I made a video where I was taking out the battery and putting in the nine volt and da 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 da. <clears throat> and it wasn't really coming across. So what I'm running today is an SM57 straight into the camera. And I'm mixing that with a room mic. And of course I got my lavalier for my, my vocals. Very simple setup. So um, you can see all of my settings right here on the amp. I'm running a Friedman Buxom Boost, everything at noon. Okay. So, um, and a noise gate because this amp's kind of noisy. So let's actually hear the pickup like this. <laughs> Alright, so that was with the boost off and you can see I'm not running a ton of gain. Now you hear the clarity that's coming through uh, it's got a really bright crunch and if you notice in the intro, let me kick back on the boost here. I was doing a lot of this. Because it really, for like open note stuff, it gives it more clarity. It gives it a little bit of airy, airiness, a little more headroom. I don't have to dig in this hard to do harmonics like this. <laughs> And uh, this guitar is set up absolutely perfectly. So I was thinking to myself, you know, it sounds really amazing and I love the EMG81 and it sort of accentuates and brings to life some more of those frequencies that I, I my ears I love so much. And I'm not, not having to run an EQ or anything like that like I normally am in a drop tuning setting. I'm tuned to drop C with 11 through 52 Dara, Dara, Diodera NYXLs. Okay, so in drop tuning it's nice and clear, it's nice and bright, not a note clarity separation. The crunch just... I hope that's coming across on camera. There's a lot more airiness to it. Um, and it sounds fantastic. So I've spent all week with Texas, we've had all this ice and snow, so I spent a lot of time in the studio 
ABN stuff. I have this stuff hooked up to the DAW. And, you know, like the hundreds of other videos on this mod, it was pretty much the same thing. So I said, I've got to show somehow how this thing is different. And I was, as I was playing it, I was like, you know what? This has more characteristics of the Fishman modern uh, fluence. So what I'm going to do, because we're super professional here, is we're going to put the amp on standby. We're going to put the pick back into the M2, M1, whatever. And I'm going to pick up my Solar guitar, which has Fishman Fluence pickups. It has the same, like pretty much everything's the same. Same, you know, alder body, alder body, ebony fingerboard, ebony fingerboard. One volume, uh, three-piece maple neck set through. So, you know, pretty identical guitars. They're set up in the same tuning and same strings. The only major difference is that has a tunematic bridge on the E2. This has an Evertune, which we'll show you there in the camera. There's the Evertune, there's a the Fish Influence. You have a three-way switch because you have a bridge pickup. We're not going to be showcasing that, but we are going to be showcasing the bridge Fishman Fluence Modern because I think they sound pretty close to each other. Now what I'm hearing in the room and I'm hoping this comes across on the camera is that the Fishman Fluence with just a 9 volt are a tad bit darker. The tone is just it's more round and it has a little bit more mid. So Let's let's hear it. Inside. Now, right off the bat, I'm having a you know these guitars are set up identical. All my guitars are. Uh, set up at 0.5 millimeter at the low E and the high E. Um, so I'm having a hard time pulling off a harmonic on the drive. Side. talking about how it's a little darker the crunch now keep in mind they're both in drop C same strings set up the same way same body materials uh, well this has stainless steel frets too but doesn't matter that's another video um, you'll notice when I'm when I'm doing the chugs it's a little darker <laughs> so there's not as much air behind it uh, there's not as much headroom as the 24 volt mod in the EMG81. Now, I'm not saying that I don't like the Fish Influence pickups. Don't put, don't be, don't you be putting words in my mouth there, matey. Because uh, I do like these pickups a lot. But in order to get closer to the sound that I like from the E2 and the EMG81, I would have to. Uh, let's turn on an EQ pedal. And I've got everything set to zero. Let's see if that makes a difference. <laughs> Yeah, made a huge difference. So all of a sudden, that kind of blanket that was keeping those kind of dark tones. Uh, just the EQ pedal, like I said, set at zero. That, that's it, and I just kicked it on along with the Freedom Bucks and Boost. It it starts to sound it, almost exactly like the MG81. So, uh, 
You draw from that what you will. I just wanted to show off what this 24 mod, mod does. And in my ears, it comes closer to a Fishman Fluence pickup. So, you know, if you guys have an EMG81 and you're, you're broke, like most musicians are, uh, get that little 24 volt mod and try it out. Um, it really takes away a lot of compression. A lot of people say the MG has a plastic sound to it. Those people need to clean the wax out of their ears. Um, but I'd be interested to know what you guys think, uh, comments, even negative, dude. I wanna hear everything. So let me know down below. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, subscribe. To help me do more of these videos. Help me grow this little baby YouTube channel into a full grown size human money making YouTube channel. And as always, much metal, much love, and much peace. I love you guys. Bye.